Hey, what's up guys? Houston McMillan here. Look, if you're looking for a loan up to $20,000 or more, this is the video to help you. Now, also, for you guys that are struggling and you're falling behind on your bills and stuff, many of you may not be aware that you may have money out there that you can actually claim, okay? And I'm going to tell you some of those places, but I'm going to also tell you uh, the lenders that you should go to if you have a high debt to income ratio and bad credit versus when you should go to an institution to get a loan as well. Now, here's what I would do first. I would go to my HR, okay? And I would file exempt, okay? And I would file exempt for three to four months. Now, what that means to many of you that have not uh, noticed this in my videos is that if you work in a W-2 job, you can go to your HR and say, hey, I need to file exempt. And so what that means is that they'll stop taking taxes out of your paycheck, okay? And so you'll be able to bring home a larger paycheck to catch up on bills. The reason that I tell people to do this, because some of these loans that I tell you about, they have a very high interest rate. So I want to give you your options first. Now, here's somewhere else that you can actually look to see, like if you uh, left a job and you don't think you've received your last paycheck or money that you moved to another state and you never received that extra money, here's where you want to go for that. Okay. Just remember that, and then it's wages. OK, so if you had a last paycheck, if you move from one state to another, you had a last paycheck out there, you never received it or something like that. That's where you want to go to. Or say that you had like a, a, a pension or a 401k and stuff like that. This is where you want to go. You want to go to PDGC. Dot, please excuse me for this. I just want to get it right. Dot gov. OK. And this is for pensions, all right? Now, I know we're talking about loans, but I want you all to first see if you can get some of this free money before you start borrowing money. Maybe this will help you first, all right? Now, there's one other place that you can go to as well, and it's unclaimed.org, all right? Now, if any of you guys ever used any of these here resources, let me know. Put a comment below so people can actually see this is real. These are government-based uh, type of uh, websites and stuff that help you find or locate money that you may be owed, all right? So that's the reason I wanted to talk about that. Now, for many of you, you may be struggling with your rent and stuff like that. Here's the thing about I always tell people. If you're struggling with your rent or just say that, your um, landlord is this, all of a sudden increasing your rent and stuff like that, here's what you can do, and this may be able to help you. You can reach out to the Department of Housing, okay? If you got a, a drastic increase on, you can go to the Department of Housing, and they will investigate it for you, because usually there's documents when they're renting out apartments and stuff like that that says how much they charge and how much they charge by year and stuff like that. But the Department of Housing will allow you to check into that. All right. Now, that being said, I hope that helps some of you all. If you like the video and you find value in my videos, please share my videos because I'm always trying to help our community. All right. So please help. All right. Now, let's talk about some of these loans starting at the $20,000 level. You have one main. All right. Now, many of you are familiar with one main. Now, in reference to why is because with one main, they offer loans up to 20,000. But the thing about it is that you may have bad credit. You may have a high debt to income ratio. So one main actually will look over those things. And please understand with some of these lenders, they may not be in all 50 states as well. And although the interest rate may be much higher than a traditional lender, uh, one may, may be a place that you can look to get a loan as well. Now, there's another one. You have Avant, okay? Now, Avant, I think their loans go from 2000 up to thirty five. all right? Now, with Avant, here's the thing about it. They work with a 560 credit score, also, in reference to some of these lenders, 
they don't use like uh, your traditional credit bureaus like Experian, Equifax, uh, TransUnion, right? So they may use like Lexus, Nexus, okay? They may uh, search uh, Lexus, Nexus, or they may uh, check Teletrack, okay? And there, there's uh, other ones that they may check as well. But these are the ones, Clarity, uh, Data X, and uh, Factor Trust. All right. So these are the credit bureaus that these type of lenders will check. All right. Especially when you have a low credit score, you have a high debt to income ratio. They won't put the hard pull on the credit. This is why they would check these here to see if you're currently in a bankruptcy, see if you had a loan with them in the past. I'll tell you another thing that will get you disqualified. If you have two open loans currently, then some of these lenders will not give you a third loan. All right. So I know some of you are like, well, I have good credit and stuff like that. But if you have multiple loans already open, they may uh, not give you a loan. OK, so just keep that in mind. And also, this is one big thing. I always tell people your address, the address on that application. If it's not matching the address with the credit bureaus and stuff like that, this can get you denied as well. OK, so I just want you all to keep in mind one other um, high debt to income uh, lender is a un universal credit. OK, now universal credit is associated with Upstart. So usually they would probably look at um, like one of these here or they may look at more likely they're going to probably look at LexisNexis. Okay, look at Lexus Nexus Sage Stream. All right, that's what they probably would look at or Teletrack. So they would look at them. Now they go up to uh, fifty thousand dollars as well. Okay, but because the debt to income ratio is much higher, it goes from up to seventy five percent. You have a higher chance, and the credit score is usually about a five eighty credit score okay so that, that's what these here now let's talk about some of these other lenders with a much lower interest rate now the first one that comes to mind is connect credit union okay and why is because connect the credit union guys they offer a personal loan up to a hundred thousand so dollars they offer a personal loan up to a hundred thousand dollars now also in reference to the interest rate the interest rates on their personal loan start at 11.74, all right? So they start at 11.74, and it's for 60 months, all right? But here's the thing about it. This is a um, Experian FICO 9. That's the great part about this that most people are not aware, and they're not geo-restricted. So anybody can join them. This is the reason why I like them, because anybody can join them. They're not geo-restricted, all right? So that's one of the best things about it. Now, another uh, credit union that's non-geo-restricted is BCU, okay? So with Baxter Credit Union, they offer loans. Now, the reason is they don't tell you how much you get approved for because they do a pre. They do a pre-approval, okay? Now, why I like them is because they do uh, 60 months, but one of the other things is about it, again, they use TransUnion Vantage 3, okay? So they use TransUnion Vantage 3, when you see credit unions or banks that using like a FICO 9 or Vantage, these are your low hanging fruit. These are the ones you want to leverage because they give you the biggest bang for your buck, especially when you may not have a strong FICO score, but your Vantage score can be influenced much easier by adding utilities, rent payment, subscriptions, all right, so that's the reason, as well as authorized users, all right? And you can influence your uh, FICO 9 and your Vantage scores. 
so that you're able to get qualified for a loan, all right? Now, yes, you do have to become a member. It's not that hard to become a member, especially like VCU, Life and Money, you organization, $5, but they waive it, right? But these are the type of institutions you want to go to, all right? So if you're worried about getting a high interest rate loan or whatever, then you may want to look at these here credit unions as well, all right? Now, another uh, institution you may want to look at is NASA, okay? NASA Credit Union, okay? Why? Because NASA uses Experian Vantage 4, right? They use Experian Vantage 4, and they give you up to 30000 all right? They give you up to 30000 Now, in terms of the interest rate with NASA, is 9.94, right? So 9.94, that's where they start at, all right? So this is good data points that you really want to know. What it is that the bank is doing, what are they pulling from, how much they're giving me, Okay. Now, that's the reason that I'm looking at them. Now, here's another one that I like, and that's, all right? And it's a Vantage 4, all right? And they go up to 60 months as well, and they offer up to 50,000. Up to 50,000 on there, all right? So that's the reason why I'm telling you guys. Guys, I wanna apologize in reference to NASA uh, NASA is 84 months. So NASA gives you a longer term. And when you're borrowing money, they give you a longer term. They give you 84 months versus these other credit unions. They only give you uh, 60 months. All right. So that's the good part about NASA. And again, like I said, it's a vantage uh, for as well. Now you have a lion. They use Vantage 4. Alliant goes up to $100,000 as well. So Alliant Credit Union goes up to $100,000. Now, they start at 9 point, um, I'm sorry about that, 9.49, all right? Now, I know some of you are like, okay, what about Navy Federal? What about Penn Fed? Well, here's the thing about it with Navy Federal. All right, so with Navy Fed, they go up to... 50,000. Now, the interesting thing about Navy Federal, all right, and it's TransUnion, FICO 9, right? The interesting thing about Navy Federal that a lot of people still are not understanding, because you have a pledge loan with Navy Federal and you paid off that pledge loan, that does not calculate in when it comes to a personal loan. The pledge loan is only calculated in when it comes to credit cards, okay? So this is something that's very important that a lot of people are not aware of because they'll go to Navy Federal and they'll get multiple pledge loans assuming that that's going to help them get a personal loan. And that does not help you get a personal loan, okay? That does not help you get a personal loan. Uh, it's calculated only for uh, the internal score for the pledge loan is calculated into the internal score for a credit card. All right. Now, that's the reason it's there. Now, they offer 50000 and the interest rates for them starts at 8.99. All right. Now, with Penn Fed, here's the thing about it with Penn Fed. Penn Fed um, is totally different. Okay, because with Penn Fed, yes, they offer up to fifty thousand dollars. They are a Experian FICO nine. Now, on the loans, on the credit cards, it's Equifax FICO nine. This is also very different from what people uh, expect, and the interest rates on it is eight point nine nine. Now, here's the interesting thing about it. With Penn Fed, they're very flexible with giving people loans and stuff. Usually, it's no proof of income, all right? One of the things I always tell you about when you starting with a credit union and stuff, I always say, especially when you have challenging credit, if you have a credit score below uh, 660, I would say, 
then you want to season the account. Now, granted, with Navy Federal, work with people that's got a 550, 580, and stuff like that, but they'll start them out with a credit card. When it comes to personal loan, you could have an 800, personal, 800 credit score, and they still wouldn't give you a personal loan. And it's because of the relationship. Unless you already, if you're going brand new to Navy Federal, then what ends up happening if you opening up multiple accounts at one time. And so again, like when I went to them, they gave me a personal loan and stuff like that, but they gave me two credit cards and stuff. It was almost, I think it was $75,000 that they gave me. Now, here's the thing about it is because I opened up a checking account for me, my wife, my son, and my daughter. So I opened up multiple accounts for them. And plus, I, I had an 800 plus credit score and I was making a, opening up a deposit account as well, all right? So that's the reason I got money right off the back or whatever. But a lot of people that have 800 credit score, they go to Navy Federal and stuff and they realize like, hey, they're not giving me a, a personal loan. I got good credit or whatever. Again, Sometimes with them, uh, they're very finicky like that. You with an 800 won't get it, but a person like with a 580 or something like that, they'll get them a personal one, but it's, it's because of the relationship and how many accounts, all right? So it doesn't really base it off the credit score itself, all right? So these are the lenders I would check out. Please, again, check out these resources. If you need money, start with these here resources. See if there's any money out there for you or for a loved one and stuff like that. And again, if you need rent payments, if you feel like your landlord is taking advantage of, make sure you reach out to the Department of Housing. Let them investigate so you're not being manipulated or taken advantage of. And I hope this video is helpful. Again, if it's helpful, give me a thumbs up, a comment, share the video. Let me know what you like about it. Let me know if you used any of these resources or if you are involved with any of these institutions. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.